Thank you for sticking with us, everyone. We want to check in now with WFXR Sports David de Guzman, who is live speaking with Matt Tip, a former driver who's now here in a different role. That's right. Three years ago, Matt Tift was racing here at Martinsville Speedway and suffered a seizure. It turns out he was diagnosed with epilepsy. Well, three years later, he's back in a different role as the owner of Team Live Fast Racing. Matt, thanks so much for joining us. Take us back to that day. What was that like and what's it like to be back now? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot going back to then. You know, um, driving up here today, I put my suitcase in my car and I had to convince myself to come up here because it's been so much of a, um, anxiety and um, PTSD to just to get here. So, you know, that day I came in, I parked my truck at 7.03 a.m., came in, went to my hauler, uh, made some coffee, and um, had a full tonic clonic seizure. I um, never had had one in my life before. And so um, I just remember basically the stuff happening and um, just praying that I was going to wake up again. And so I woke up in the hospital um, down the road here at the Silva, um, you know, hospital here in Martinsville. And so, you know, to come back and have the Epilepsy Foundation car on the number 78, it's, it's amazing um, to be able to give back, to get to this point. I haven't been back here to the track. So today was a lot of stress, a lot of emotional, um, you know, moments coming up to here, but it's been a really amazing journey. And the whole point of this really is to raise awareness for epilepsy uh, treatments, care, and to stop seizures ultimately. Um, you guys can go to epilepsy.org to, to learn more, um, but it's been, it's, this is really closing the chapter and being able to come back, face the fear, and try to move on. What's it been like to team up with the Epilepsy Foundation, and what do you hope viewers at home and the fans here get out of this weekend? Obviously a weekend that's about much more than racing. It's, you know, we do this every weekend. We, we go in circles, as people say. Um, we make a lot of left turns, but this is so much bigger than that. You know, it's about um, treating a cause, real humanity, real people, and making a difference. So um, I'm so proud to announce that I've um, been a part of the, the um, joining the board for the Epilepsy Foundation starting here in the summer. So trying to make a big difference in that way. But, um, you know, to come to the NASCAR circuit, put this on the grand stage that we have here is awesome. Well, you've got a great team with you, driver BJ McLeod and his wife, who happens to be the CAO of Team Live Fast Racing. What's it been like to work with them? Uh, you know, BJ, I had my first race um, here for my professional career in the Truck Series back in 2014, and then weirdly storybooked at the end um, of my career here at Marginville with the Caesars. So to come back with him, um, he taught me how to drive a race car. His wife, Jessica, to name her as a female CEO in the male-dominated sport of NASCAR. You know, it's such an amazing thing. So trying to be very progressive. She's a brilliant, brilliant personality, and she drives us to be better. Um, and so we're trying to build this team. We started last year in the Cup Series in the highest pinnacle of stock car racing. So um, it's, it's so awesome to come here. But Martinsville feels like that short track right. Saturday night racing. Um, so it's kind of back to our roots a bit, but, again, on the highest stage of NASCAR. All right, Matt, what, what car are we looking at for tomorrow? What number? The number 78 car. Number 78. Yes, sir. All right, well, best of luck to you tomorrow night to the team racing in the Cup Series tomorrow night. Uh, Matt. Appreciate it, man. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Back to you, Kathleen and Jermaine. A great interview, David. Thank you. Definitely making a difference. Stick with us, everyone. We're talking about the Martinsville staple coming up after the break. Why everyone wants a hot dog.